Hey guys, this is Daxon here again with video number two with Autodesk 123D Design. Go ahead and check out the first video in the series if you have not already. If you have, that's good. As you can see, my screen is exactly where we left off in the last video. Now we already went over basic shapes, movement, kind of sliding around, panning, uh, and resizing the objects that they have given us. So what we're going to do is go ahead and um, I'm going to show you real quick one more thing. Say we wanted to print all of this stuff. What you have to do is select everything and this little menu down here and then you want to export selection. You want to export it and then rename it. You can either save it as a 1, 2, 3, but I save it as an STL because that's what you know most printers um, the file they mostly take. I'll just call it shapes and then you can save it. But make sure you have everything highlighted, selected like that. Because if you go up here and you just export as a 3D and then save it, for some reason sometimes it only saves one shape and you have to go through and do it over again and try to figure out what's going on. So I finally figured out that's what you got to do is highlight everything. But So that's that so far as basic stuff and exporting, moving around things. We are going to go ahead and highlight all that and push the delete button on our keyboard and delete it all. In this one we're going to be going over um, drawing kind of our own stuff. So you can go right next to the primitives like we was in the, la the last video. Go to a little one with looks like a little pin drawing a line. And we can go, let's go with the polyline. Okay, and then click. My computer's just being a little bit slow. Okay, so there's our line. So you just move it kind of wherever you want. And click. Just going to try to make a shape here. Don't really know what I'm trying to make, but... I guess nothing really. <laughs> Okay, so when you connect it all and you get the shape you want, you can click the check mark. And that's that. Now we have our shape. So what we can do is highlight this, because right now it's flat. And we want to come up to the one where it looks like a little box with a little pin on top of it, the construct. And then find extrude and click on it. And then we will re-highlight. And it'll give us a little arrow. So we can pull up on that arrow. Sorry, my computer's being a little bit slow here. Got a lot of things running. And there we can pull it. And you can see your little millimeter right here. You can go ahead and just type it in. So say we want to make it, you know, 8 millimeters tall. And that's, but that's basically how you would uh, extrude it, which basically means pull it up or down. In this case, we're going to pull it up going from flat so then it's eight millimeters and then you should be able to click out of it there's your shape and now you can freely move it around and I'm not sure really what this part does but I always just delete it but we have here's our actual shape I haven't really messed with too many of the other you know free-handed ones let's see what these other ones can do here okay so that's just making Where? I guess like that. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, we'll go to our extrude tool. Highlight. I guess it only lets us do one at a time. That's fine. We'll put make that 12. Let's we'll see if we can make that one 12 too. Somehow. Oh, now it's letting us change the length. Okay, then. Uh -huh. Kind of have to play around with this. Like I said, I haven't actually, you know, messed with that tool. Kind of mess around with it and see what you can get. But I'm going to delete that and see what else we have so far as kind of uh, making our own shapes. Okay. Come back up here to the sketch. I guess there's 
What we got here is mixed circles. So that could be useful, I guess. Um, what else do we have? I know you could, you have your other like polylines, your spline, two point arc, three point arc. So that's like if you want to have more bends. It's a little bit more complicated. I did mess with this one, but don't quite understand really how it works. You can make all types of cool stuff though with that once you get it down. Let's see if we can make that extrude. Some reason it's not wanting to be very nice to me today with that. Two D shape or face. So maybe it's not because it's a uh, Okay, I see. I guess it's because that's not a complete shape. It's not wanting to let us do anything with it. That's mostly what I wanted to go over in this video. Is just kind of freehanding stuff. And I think, yeah, that should be about good. Okay, so for the next video, I'm going to show you one of the most basic things, really, that you can make. Um, it wasn't really basic to me. It probably took me an hour to two to actually figure it out. Um, when I did, you know, first start, I just wanted to make like a little, like, box with my name, you know, sticking up on it and 3D print it, you know, to, to put on the wall. And I have printed a few different ones. Um, but that's what we're going to do in the next video. So please like this one. Um, if I was any help to you, make sure to watch the first video as this is video number two. And then video number three I'll make here after a while. And it'll be, you know, actually putting something together and then getting to, you know, having something to print. Um, but that's it for this video. Please subscribe. I make all types of cool videos. You can leave a comment on this video if you have any questions about, you know, 3D printing, 3D design. I'm learning daily with this. Um, I assume as you're learning with me here, like this video if I helped you out. Share this video. And thanks for watching. Check out my website, www.noxad.org. The link will be in the description. Lots of cool free stuff. Everything you can think is there. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.